ABC4 News. Welcome back. Some ambitious high schoolers across Utah are taking their advanced placement test this week, even though they haven't been in a classroom for months. ABC 4 Sarah Martin spoke to some of the test takers about how they were preparing. Advanced placement tests mean college credit for a fraction of the cost. They've always been stressful, but now COVID-19 has taken them to a whole new level. I think that I'm prepared. I've done as much studying as I can, but you just never know, because it's especially now, because it's unpredictable. And as a sophomore, prepping for two AP tests. So that's kind of helpful knowing everyone is going through it at the same time with me. Elena, also a sophomore and also studying for world history. Both of the girls say studying alone has been really challenging. Sometimes my friends, if we have questions about stuff that we're confused at, we'll like FaceTime just for a little bit. It is hard not having motivation of peers to kind of push you to do more. Students will take the AP test from home this year. Each test is shorter and will be an open response format, no multiple choice. I think I would have felt more comfortable with multiple choice questions, but that's easier to cheat on, obviously, right? And especially since everyone's at home. A major challenge is making sure each student has the tools they need to take the test. I think we underestimate how challenging it is to sit at home alone while your parents go to work or to be in the house with younger siblings and everybody's supposed to be on these machines that you don't necessarily have or that you have to share. If your child needs a computer, please reach out to your school. So it's worth the kids while to do it and um, they'll still get um, those semester hours um, and be able to skip some of their prerequisite courses. I have heard reports of some kids here in Utah having technical issues with their tests. If that happens, you will need to take a makeup test. Those are happening in June. If you decide not to take the test, you can get a full refund. Good luck, everybody. Reporting, I'm Sarah Martin, ABC4 News.